hello guys this is mp and today we're gonna talk about like the app config the usage of app config so basically what happened like in our applications sometimes we have to uh, pass the pass some of the values so which we don't want to change in our dlls more like uh, we change it more often you know so for example we can take user and password so suppose that if we um, build a solution and we generate that dlls all right so we generate these dlls uh, in my opinion so when we gonna run this dlls we always not like keep changing a lot so let me delete this here so some values suppose that if you are testing this application and you have to uh, test its username or you are testing somewhere else where the usernames are different user username and password i am just taking for an example there are a lot of other uh, values like build number and all that eventually when we will uh, go back to the reports we're gonna generate the reports then uh, we always run these uh, dlls with different build or versions of software application so in that manner we need like we need to change some values more oftenly and but we don't want to you know go in visual studio and change the code again and again core code so in that way we have to uh, make a configuration key so configuration key is the solution for those items so you can google like what are the benefits of the configuration key you will find a lot like okay for example let me so we can start from here let's add a configuration key for this application i mean for this test so we can find here config so this uh, application configuration key so you can uh, just simply add this as a app key app config key so this is called app key this is basically a xml file where we can set it up our main configuration so suppose that um, in one database you have any test data so which uh, you want to test it and now you want to change and run the same dll or test script for different database or data sets then you can simply uh, define your connection string here and uh, this uh, config key will work for that so right now uh, in my example i am just uh, trying to make a config key uh, okay so we just made a config key now let me tell you where we have to change that so here i am passing the user information go to the definition so this key i mean this value we will make it configurable in our application for now and uh, this is the username and the password so both we will make it configurable so it will like run whatever we will define in the config key so which will be a uh, more easier okay let's let's do that guys so firstly we gonna have to create a app settings so once we have app setting we can create the keys we can say add key and we have to give a key value which can be username and then we have to say its value value could be uh, for now i am taking the username one and same we gonna do for the password 
the value is one all right so we're gonna save it so now how we gonna use it in the code so this is my uh, my function class and here we are keeping our all all the uh, functions and methods so we uh, need to add here using system dot configuration namespace so now we can uh, call it a string username string password equals to I'll say configuration settings dot app settings and in app setting we gonna give that key so we have a so we can also give the app setting by index but it's always good to give with the name so what we gonna do here we gonna where it goes we gonna copy the key name okay so same code here but the name is different or these uh, keys are also uh, you can define it as a uh, global variable name which you want to use those value throughout the throughout your test script so there it also helps all right so now it is configured now we will just copy this to where we have given name username here we are passing this okay oh. a object reference is required non starting method or property oh, blah 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 okay should we we can just always good to have to convert in the string maybe we can give it a uh, public static yeah that is like when you having a class you always have to do this kind of stuff so yeah now it is accepting all right sounds good so now we have to do the password okay great so look like our application is uh, uh, application is complete for running so here we can just quickly put a breakpoint and then we can run in a debug a uh, debug mode all right i hope it should work come on come on and yeah we can also change the we can also configure the path of the application so which is also convenient you know uh, because sometimes when you want to run the same script for the for the other so it always need a different because sometimes you put somewhere your root file or software shortcut is like 
uh, you put somewhere else and then uh, your dlls can so if like your uh, this automation report path or you can say your application path here like let me show you so so see so this path if it's change its position it not gonna work your dll uh, fail at the same point so if you uh, make this path configurable then you can just put your application anywhere so you can you just have to change it in the uh, app config so let me show you if you quickly ah my bad all right so if you quickly make the solution so now what you have to do wherever you gonna put your dlls you oh what happened let me clean the solution build the solution ah why it is not coming up oh sorry guys i didn't put in release uh, sometime i become so stupid anyways so let's go to the folder bin release so now you have that this is like a useless file you can just delete it you don't need it so when you have to uh, run the app uh, your dlls with the help of a method which i showed you with the help of batch file then what are you gonna do you gonna put these uh, uh, two files together so in that manner it will work because they are always uh, referenced each other and it is closely coupled so see if you say simply so one what you have to do you have to put this when you gonna run it just change this uh, like change its username password simply change here in that text file and just save it so right guys so i hope this will help you to make a very good testing script and if you like my video please just give thumbs up thank you very much bye bye